How's it going guys, it's Mr Lone Wolf and uh, today I'm going to go and do a mission called Sawmill Bridge. To be honest it was just an excuse, a pretty good one, to take this uh, Cat 745C out which I don't usually use too often. I believe it was Reese Westmoreland who recommended, just said uh, about taking the cat for this mission. I thought yeah, not a bad idea. Uh, the log carrier, just quickly put that footage in. Um, I kind of messed it up as I'll explain in a minute. <laughs> um, but I did notice at the time, this was hence why I got the footage and got the editing and etc. Uh, for the mission, just quickly, I'm going to take the cat and then the Tager, got a goddamn horse of me, and the trailer. Uh, the Tager, it's Tony Tager, has got a small log carrier on it. And then I've got obviously the trailers like medium. Uh, yeah, all the other trucks say medium or small logs. I'll just say quickly, yeah, driving over here to the sawmill, that's the bridge I'm going to build. And then you could actually go like this road and go that way, but I'm sure a few people said they had troubles depending on the truck they use getting up that hill so I kind of wanted to go that way just to specifically see uh, what that was like. Um, yeah for most vehicles like when you can equip say like the log carrier on the uh, the Tager it'll say you know small log carrier or medium log carrier but for the Cat 745C it just says log carrier so at this point I wasn't entirely sure and to be honest if anyone could uh, sort of definitely confirm it either way I'd appreciate it in the comments uh, if this can have kind of medium and small logs that's what I was hoping was the case it wasn't the end of the world because between them I thought worst case if it's medium I've got the Tager with say small and a medium trailer so I can still complete this mission but I was hoping if this cat could have small logs then I could put another set of small logs uh, in the Tager and then yeah the trailer and just kind of do it that way in one run but um yeah, for start I ended up kind of messing it up because the log stations are separate so where I went to get the medium logs um, obviously there's not an option of small <laughs> that's what she said and then so I ended up just putting medium in <laughs> don't even need to say it um, so yeah I kind of then obviously it was full and by the time I got to the small log station I kind of didn't have a way of checking unless I delete the medium logs and I didn't want to do that um, yeah, so far though, like I've heard with this mission, it was like pretty rough and uh, boggy. So again, this is why this thing. Just yeah, the last time I took this out was bloody ages ago. Really, probably done a rare mission here and there. The last time I used it properly was I scouted White Valley with this, um, the whole thing, every watchtower. And yeah, that was obviously way back, sort of near when the game first came out. I'll just say quickly as well, going through that bit of water there, uh, one thing to bear in mind with this, it doesn't have a snorkel, which is a bit of a shame because then it takes water damage pretty low compared to obviously if it just had a snorkel like sat at the roof level. Um, yeah, which would be nice if they did because, I don't know, kind of looks like the sort of truck that you could imagine would be wading through, say at least comfortably like water just above its tyres. Um, but yeah, obviously, like, because this truck's heavy, Driving through rivers and water, in theory, it'd actually be pretty good with it. I think it'd be quite a good option, but because of the snorkel. It sort of reminds me a little bit, loosely, like the, um, what's it called? The something skidder, I think it was, on Mudrunner. Uh, there was some map that, kind of, when it gave it to you, it was on that map. Um, it was a ten-wheeled thing, probably a little bit like the, uh, what the hell was that? Japanese toaster, I called it, was it like? Aramatsu? <laughs> or have I just pulled that name out of thin air? Is that the name of that truck? Is that like a Japanese massage? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it was a bit like that, the 10 wheel skidder, but I'm pretty sure uh, that could handle going pretty deep. <laughs> it's definitely what she said. And it was quite fun, like, this thing, it's got a bit of a big snout on it, so if you went like the going in a river and the angle change was pretty severe, that would probably catch you out. Just looking right, going over this little log bridge now, this is essentially what we're going to build on this mission. Um, it's not got caught so far. I think that was just my gears changing. And uh, yeah, as well, just while I remember. Uh, yeah, apologies for missing the video yesterday. I was doing this for about the last two days. I thought... Basically yesterday I thought it was Saturday. I nearly would have done a live stream tonight potentially, or now, earlier, kind of, um, yeah, I don't know, what, I really don't know, I was doing this video, I got this video yesterday, and edited it, and I was 
about halfway through voicing it, and uh, yeah, because I thought it was uh, Saturday. I was just doing it, and then uh, my mum texts me because she normally pops around on a Wednesday. Uh, on a <laughs> see <laughs> see how bad it is on a Friday, uh, just for a coffee. So yeah, she texts me saying she's there, and I was like, oh, when I looked at my phone, I was like, oh shit, it's Friday. Uh, and then yeah, just by like I'd kind of missed the window by then, chatting away and whatnot, and uh, yeah. By the time I got back, and then tonight I just thought, right, I'll scrap, <laughs> scrap the editing I've done so far, and we'll just start again. Uh, yeah, I'm getting caught on a few of the logs. As, like that's where we're about to build this kind of log path thing going on. Uh, it's not too much of a worry there because those logs are a bit awkward. Like obviously, again, once we build the the log bridge thing, it'll kind of that won't be an issue. Near the end, though, I did kind of get snagged up on one of them just as I dropped it in high low, and it looks like the truck was pretty much about to stop dead on me. Just by chance, was the exact millisecond I was putting it in high gear, and then it kind of burst back up into speed and climbed over the log. So yeah, up to now it was uh, looking alright, and this was the hill that I was assuming a few different people had mentioned. Um, yeah, and uh, like. To be honest, going up this hill was actually not too bad. I don't think I got caught on any routes or anything on the way. It's more once you get to the top end, it's... You can see that I'm already running over a dead tree. Yeah, there's uh, gone a little bit keen on the routes. Um, I think there's... I certainly think the cat got caught at some point. If I remember correctly, the Tager did as well. And I believe even the trailer as well. I'm starting to hit a bit more uh, routes now. You can see them. The worst thing with the uh, this, or where it catches the most, I think, it's the same with the Antarctic. Uh, well, uh, oh yeah, that Forester. That might be articulated. Yeah, it's like the knuckle. I don't even know if that's the right word, but like where where the articulation's going on. Yeah, it's always like just a bit of a big fat hitbox. It's funny. I sort of figured that out from a jump in the wall on Northport and then review videos when I took the. Antarctic and like was balancing it on the wall it was always um, yeah that articulation point is always what gets it yeah I'm sure it was around now I think this is about the only place I got stuck really uh, when I did the exploration video as well it was just is it here or is it down this little hill yeah this was where it, like say the hill I just drove up was actually quite nice. The, this thing was ticking along nicely. I was in high-low, so it was only going to go as fast as it's going, but considering I'm uh, dragging the Tager and that behind me, yeah, this thing was doing alright. That's uh, probably here, yeah. This, that is exactly where I got um, stuck in the Dolphin as well. They, uh, Well, I don't know. I, t I wouldn't hold my breath, but they might patch those routes, because near enough everything I've driven over here, even like the good trucks are they're getting stuck on this bit, and the dolphin. It would say it was just stuck, you know, and you knew it wasn't even like, oh, it's not got enough power. It's like, no, it's just hooked on the roots, and that's it. And just fling a winch out, kind of drag it off sideways, and this and that. But yeah, there are a little bit, bit OP mode there, and that's what I mean. Now is like, I believe the cat's got past it, but the uh, the tiger's now snagged. Or it might have even been the trailer, because I think it sort of looked like the tiger was getting. You know, like pulled in the middle between uh, yeah my winch and then whatever the trailer was hooked on. So yeah, again, the thing is, like the roots and that in this game, I still hate the tree stumps a lot more. But yeah, again, there's no real skill set going on. You just you like oh crap, I'm hooked on it. Fling a winch out, reverse, drive forward, <laughs> kind of repeat the same thing. The definition of insanity. Keep repeating the same thing. Expecting a different result. Well, it's not that insane because it uh, can work in this game. Well, maybe it was this hill, but again, I don't actually think I really. Unless there might be the little bit where I got snagged, like, you know, for half a second and it sort of eats a bit of your momentum, but. Uh, yeah. Nothing, uh, nothing too bad. And I don't even know like why I picked the Tagus particularly, t strictly speaking. 
Um, just for the fact that it's kind of the vehicle I'm towing behind me for the most part, I probably would have brought like a, I don't know, one of the sort of earlier, weaker vehicles really that I don't use too often. I, I've just, I've been quite largely on sort of autopilot the last week, like as well. I've been really tired the last week, which is rare for me. <laughs> Got insomnia. Normally it's the opposite. Um, yeah, almost like bloody hell is this? <laughs> is this what normal people feel like? Getting tired. I'm not even sure if I like it. <laughs> now, now, now the feeling's finally arrived. It's like, well, I don't know about this. Uh, yeah, so I got here, and like I say, I was hoping for small logs, but case in point, it's only a medium log station. So right now, I was like, oh no, it can't even have small logs. Uh, yeah, just I wasn't paying enough attention. It's <laughs> quite often the case, and it was in this as well. Uh, yeah, put the logs on, I just thought, I, I mean, it didn't take me long to be like, fine. I'll just put medium logs and uh, I'll do two runs with a Tago, which was fine because it really isn't that far to go. Goddamn horse time, I had to, so I had to cheer myself up after the devastating small log news. Um, I was just riding around, messing around, rolled him over a bit. I knew I could escape this. I can fling a winch out at any point I want, but it, just, it was a good little chance to... It's nice when you can jiggle the tyres and it's a pretty good example of... When the game first came out, you could move your tyres like this, even if you'd tipped over and the engine had stalled. But then they've patched it out, and it's a shame. Um, yeah, so just for good old nostalgic reasons, if nothing else, I was wiggling around with the loaf. I had faith in him. See, I reversed there, but I hit the wrong button. So I'll quick test with the uh, handbrake. It's like, right, I know what I'm doing. Wiggle him up the hill a bit more. See how much easier it is to move around when you can. Hit reverse, hit the handbrake at the right time. You nailed it, loaf. Goddamn professional. Of course he got out of it. Uh, and then I tried reversing up the wheel just to go back on to the log thing. Because I got the loaf off and then I was like, hang on a minute, why did I even get the loaf off? Oh yeah, it's because he got hooked on the uh, the rear bumper. I remember now. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. So uh, yeah. And then I thought, right, I'll try and be lazy. Squeeze him in. That's what she said. I mean, Christ. Avert your eyes. Um, I'll try and, yeah, get it up in one. <laughs> When she says, when she says deeper, and you're like, say no more. You had me at deeper. Like now, this this is the thing with this game. There's uh, tree stumps everywhere, and then when I actually could do with one tree stump, there's none to be found. And all I can do is winch this trailer. Just cut the footage there because it took about eight million years to get the winch point over. Well, that trailer didn't do a lot. That flopped over. Kind of proof if it was needed that, considering how heavy the logs are, the uh, the trailers are pretty kind of lightweight and floppy. Uh, I stuck a zombie winch out to the cat. I knew it was like not the best angle. I obviously could have moved it, all sorts, but just out of laziness. See how well the loaf hangs on, though. He's a goddamn beast. But then when I want to get him out, he reverses no problem. Look, he even does some kind of like crab. See that? He went diagonally just so he moved over quicker. What a goddamn horse. These are the things. This is loaf training in action. Uh, yeah, so I'll flip this back again. I well, I wasn't supposed to tip over. I was quite surprised, to be honest, how easy the Tega tipped over. I mean, I know he's a goddamn professional, but... You see, like, that wood there, look. Every other truck would get caught on that. But with a loaf, you just keep flooring it, it's like... He'll get there. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Uh, if you haven't worked it out yet, I've kind of figured out a different way that I might be able to uh, get the loaf back in the truck, which I was pretty happy with. Flip that trailer. See, I'm getting well. I was going to say I'm getting better with not leaving trailers everywhere, but it's probably not the best example when there was only one here when I turned up, and now there's two. And my trailer is dead to me. It's now been released into the wild because I don't need it because the I've got medium logs now on the cat. Uh, yeah, went for that. I mean, look at him. Just too much horsepower. Got a bit of torque steer as we sat off. But he saved it. He swerved at the last second. He made it. And you're probably thinking, yeah, but he's in diagonally. But like I said, he got caught on the bumper. So, I'm not even joking. It's like, it couldn't have gone better. When I jumped him in and then he landed diagonally, so his wheels aren't even touching the bed of the log carrier. It was like, I, I couldn't have even thought of that. But he did it. What a goddamn professional. Now he'd be easier to get out of there. 
because yeah, the like bed of the log carrier, you can see just because it sits quite narrow, pretty much the loaf wheels like perfectly sit over it, which is fine, but because he is such a muscly little beast, he like fights against the Tager. Once his wheels are in the middle of the Tager's two rear wheels, the loaf just overpowers him, <laughs> and then the wheels lock up. Which I mean, he makes a good handbrake. I'll give him that. See, I mean, if you've seen the footage of just getting him out there when he was hooked on it, I mean, just talking like 30 seconds a minute, but still, that was a lot easier. Diagonal was the best. Uh, yeah, so he put small logs on this. Like I said, it's just the way the mission is. Uh, I need two lots of small logs. And knowing what I know now as well, um, Obviously, I just ended up wanting to bring the cat, so I was kind of prepared to have this be a possible kind of option. Um, but I could have brought a truck that's just got a small log thing on it, bed, whatever they call it, add-on, uh, and the Tega, and then the trailer. And obviously, I could have done this in one run, but like I say, I'm, I'm not that far away at all. Plus, strictly speaking, I wasn't too fussed about this either. It's like I'm doing a road train at the minute. Um, once I drop the medium logs and the small logs off, I've now got to drive back up that hill just to go and grab another set of small logs. So it was a chance to drive the Tager on its own as well up that hill just to see uh, what's going on. You know, it's random, but my stomach just made a perfect noise of, you know that WhatsApp <laughs> noise? It's like, whoop! It just did that. I even felt it do it. It was random. Good job, though. Good effort. I'd sat on my phone too fast for a second, but we're all good. <laughs> you know what? Well, it's an odd one, it's like, uh, that reminds me. Speaking of phones up my ass. Um <laughs> the other day, again, I well, I noticed this and I was like, yeah, this will be a good one. Try and tiptoe around on YouTube for a few minutes. Uh yeah, I was in bed the other day and then I realised this bedside no, it's not really a bedside table, it's like a thing with drawers near my bed had a tin of Vaseline on it and a banana that looked suspiciously bruised and then it even had a tape measure <laughs> that was set to 11 inches that's another story that was the least suspicious of the three to be honest and uh, yeah the tape measure was not me she's just a friend um, yeah I was pretty concerned though with his uh, Vaseline and banana because I suddenly realised like, if I die right now everyone, my family will find me and like, what was he up to? <laughs> How did he die? Why has he got Vaseline and a banana? And like I said, the uh, the suspiciously bruised part <laughs> gets even worse. And it, well, yeah, uh, honestly, this is true. All I can say is you can go and test this out for yourself and you'll be like, yep, he's not lying. <laughs> There's no other way you'd know that info. Um, yeah, the banana, the previous day, <laughs> I get my shopping delivered because it's fucking easy and great. Um, I don't know what they do. They must throw the bananas around the van and kick them around the floor a bit. So by the time you get them, they look like they've uh, taken a bit of beating, and there was like, I don't know, coffee or something, like tobacco and all sorts, stuck to one end of it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I was like, uh, not again. Always said to myself after that, no more sideways bananas, <laughs> lengthways only. And that's the end of it. It's the end that's going in anyway. Um, yeah, and even though like, I mean, I wasn't planning on blowjob in the banana, but I didn't really want to hold the banana while it's got all this stuff on it. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I know it's not open. Um, yeah, so I washed I washed my banana for the first time ever. Um, and again, you can test this, because I never knew this. You know, like a normal yellow sponge with like the green scoury bit on it. Washed my banana. About an hour later, it really didn't take long. I was quite surprised. The harshness of the scourer like bruised the banana but in a you know not like a normal bruise it looked like it had it looked like it had been wire brushed <laughs> but then the, it had gone brown anyway like i say it was like one half of the banana which is a bit suspicious evenly bruised all the way around um yeah and the vaseline as well <laughs> again it's a bit like yeah he's telling the truth because no one would just know this scenario and if you say i'm lying i'll say what what do you mean you don't believe my banana story? I didn't just pull it out my ass, did I? 
Um, yeah, with a Vaseline. <laughs> there was someone was potentially going to ring me, and there was a possibility of a video call. And before you think it's going that way, it wasn't. It was the other way. I didn't want to do a video call. I didn't even want the possibility. In fact, <laughs> I wanted an escape plan, an option. I wanted to keep my options open. So what I thought is genius. What I'll do, I'll get a tin of Vaseline, and I'll put some uh, <laughs> some Vaseline on the camera lens. So then, even if it happens, well, it, like, I'll look like captured UFO footage or something. Not like it's been filmed with a potato. Um, yeah. And then it, it didn't need to happen in the end. And f not that it really matters, but then I put it in a, a bag of M&Ms for some reason. And then I found that a few days later when I was eating M&Ms. I was like, oh yeah, Vaseline. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's why that's there. But then, yeah. The banana panicked me a bit. <laughs> Thought it was looking a bit sketchy. To be honest, the tape measure was rescuing the situation a little bit by chance, but it wasn't enough. But yeah, thankfully, no video call was ever ever arrived. I was saying that, I don't even like bloody phone calls. Like, what's your hobbies and interests? Like, what? Definitely not bananas and Vaseline. <laughs> what are you, Ed? <laughs> bloody hell. Told that banana to keep his mouth shut. What's he playing at? Like my hobby's interest. Um, seducing strange women over the phone, what about you? <laughs> if you had to seduce a stranger, what would you say first? Like, bloody hell. This camera is working after all. <laughs> Relax, it was just Vaseline. I don't know a word about a banana. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, you were trying to seduce me over the phone. <laughs> Continue. I shall allow it this time. And he got distracted then, so banana nearly threw me. But it's alright. Pop back out the same and it went in. That was a close one. If it made it all the way through, I'd have to ring the banana ambulance. And if you're wondering, by the way, what's the difference between an ambulance and a banana ambulance? When you turn siren on a banana ambulance, it goes banana, banana. <laughs> and yeah, it's like fucking hell, ambulance, don't tell everyone. Put that banana up there in incognito mode, which is probably Latin for help. I've got a banana stuck up my ass. But yeah, that didn't actually happen. <laughs> well, the banana on like near me, near Vaseline as well, that happened. And yeah, I thought, what if, what if I died? And then someone found that. And the tape measure, I was measuring something. <laughs> Just happened to be set at 11 inches. I was measuring the thing that everything was on to see if it could fit next to my bed without actually having to move everything and try and wedge it in there. That's what she said. Um, and then yeah, I just left it there. But then I realised like, why have I not? Why haven't I done this sooner? Why doesn't everybody leave a tape measure set to like 11 inches next to their bed? I've just got to write a little note now saying, Dear Diary, Day 8007, as predicted, it has got massive -er. Gets any bigger and I might die, <laughs> and then have the pen squiggling off the page. At least if you found that way, I'd be like, Christ. Must inform the newspapers immediately of what this man went through before he died. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> talked enough bollocks, we made it to the end of the video. Whew. Banana really came in handy. Um, yeah, log bridge built, not really of any particular use, I just wanted to take the, uh, the cat out, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's about it for today, though. Hope you've enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.